Okay guys, welcome back down to Carbon Car Systems. I've been promising this for a while. This is a review on the new Kenwood unit, the DDX 916WS. So WS stands for widescreen. This is a specifically suited unit to, to fit the Toyotas and a lot of the new Subarus. Because as you know, Toyota and Subaru are one and the same company now. They've got invested interest and they're building more and more units um, or vehicles with the same style of stereo. So widescreen stands for 200 millimeters wide. It's a little bit wider than your traditional double din. So this is the fit specifically for the Toyotas. You'll see the rounded edges, okay? And it's typically where a normal aftermarket double din would sit a little bit smaller, okay? Um, so this one is suited specifically for the Toyotas and Subarus, a lot of the new Subarus and Toyotas going back as far as I can remember, eh? It's, um, it is that, that fitting. Now, traditionally, as you can see here, if you did an aftermarket stereo, you would have these two wings that go on the side of the stereo, okay? Not needed with this unit because it is designed to suit. Very, very cool feature of this. So anyone with a Toyota or Subaru, this is gonna be great for you guys. I'm actually putting this one in my car. Uh, we're gonna give you a look at the functionalities. I'm gonna give you a quick unboxing first to show you what's included. Now, cool thing we found with this, this is everything over here on the left that was actually included in the kit. You'll see it has the power loom. Nice little touch by Kenwood is it has the plugs already on there. So you can plug and play this to, into any like Toyota from pretty much 96 onward, 1996 onwards, and a lot of the new Subarus. So the Impreza, um, <clears throat> Forester, some of the other vehicles, Liberties. Um, and so very, very nice touch there. So that's straight plug and play. They give you two USBs. Now this is really cool because this unit has dual functionality in the fact that it has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, which is the new app-based system for your smartphone where you can control the apps on the screen. So you plug it in and it uses the native software, so native Apple or native Android on the screen. You can control it like SMSs, navigation, everything straight on the screen without touching your phone. Big plus. Two USBs is great because you can have it because sometimes people have different phones in the car. You know, I don't know why you wouldn't go Apple, but some people, you know, like the Androids. Um, other things that come in the box, you have an external microphone, which makes it really clear for when you're talking. You would mount that up high in the center, so better than a built-in microphone on the front. Those are not clear. External mic is really nice touch. Now, this Kenwood unit came with this. This is an extra loom. This is a steering wheel control adapter. Um, and it has a plug to suit pretty much all the new Subarus and all the new Toyotas to allow the steering wheels, the factory steering wheel controls, to function the new aftermarket radio. So that is a nice touch. That'll plug directly in the back um, and it will work. It has those functions built in, saves you buying a separate adapter. So most other aftermarket stereos, you would buy it separately and it cost you like $100 to $150. Money save, easy install. Other cool thing, comes with a remote control. But this is what we found interesting as well, GPS antenna. Now, this unit itself does not have GPS in it, okay? But it has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So for the Android guys, it will use the Google Maps on the screen from your phone. And for the Apple guys, it will use the Apple Maps. Now, this just makes it more accurate for the GPS receiving. Um, the cool thing about this unit, because it does not have maps built into it, it makes the unit cheaper because they're not paying licensing rights. So these units, um, traditionally in Australia, our NAV units are like $1,300 plus. This unit retails at I think a thousand, around a thousand dollars, okay? Um, and it'll use the maps of your phone. Cool thing is about doing that, you never have to update the maps because your phone always has them updated, you get them for free. Um, and it's not gonna chew a lot of data because it actually has the maps stored on your phone and it really only uses data when it's searching for a new location okay so once it search it searches for it it's found it that's the data used so it's not going to chew through your data which is really cool um, so we'll take a look at the back of this unit and give you a look at the compatibility it has heaps of things so you got AV in composite in so you can run external um, external players like your older style or any video device so that's your normal AV in it has a front and rear camera input so two of those so you can actually run a front camera and a reverse camera for parking. Uh, has a video output for if you want to run anything else like uh, overhead DVDs or any other screens in the car. Antenna, this is a normal um, antenna jack. And on the back here you have three pre-outs for expandability, which is really, really cool. Um, the other cool function, 
hidden way in here in this little hole is a HDMI input so you can do some screen mirroring off a lot of the Android type units so it's, it's hidden away in there a little bit frustrating you have to undo these screws to get to it um, but you can definitely use that as well and your GPS will go in the back here power USB this says nav input you could pay for an external nav but I don't know why you would spend the money um, so very very cool unit for you guys we're going to show you its functionality in the car um, so we're going to put it in my Toyota 86 and we're going to show you how it uses some of the cool functions it has. It has air gestures. So if you swipe the screen left and right in front of it like this, it will go, you know, skip to the next track, skip back. You can go swipe up and you'll switch to your front camera if you set it up that way. So it's got some really cool functionality. Um, but in terms of fitting for the Toyotas, it is great because traditionally you can get rid of a lot of those extra wings that you had. So you don't need to get them. You don't need to get plugs because it comes with them. Um, some of the things you will need, depending on the car, antenna adapter, so they do not come with it. So some cars, like my car, will need an antenna adapter, about $10 roughly, $10, $15, pretty cheap. Um, and sometimes if you want to retain factory USBs, you can buy a USB retention and that will suit the factory Toyota USBs um, and plug into the uh, Kenwood unit. So it keeps it nice and factory looking. Um, but let's go have a look at it in the car and we'll see the functionality. So. Okay guys, down in the car now, so this is the home screen of the unit, as you can see, very, very nice. Uh, you have a ton of features on this thing, we're going to go through just some of the key ones. It has AM, FM radio, it has no digital radio because you can stream music from your web apps using the Android Auto or the Apple CarPlay. It has mirroring for if you want to use your HDMI cable on the Android uh, based systems. Um, you can pair up your phone, obviously, for Bluetooth, which is audio as well as phone book. Um, this uses a capacitive touch touchscreen, which is much like your smartphone. So it is very smooth to scroll back and forth, very responsive. So as you can see there, it has a ton of audio settings, um, which is great. Uh, you can play with that and get some really good sound over the factory one. So it makes it a, a good replacement. Um, you can move these icons around, so you can just like your smartphone, you can hold them down and touch it. Uh, nav is not built into this because it will use the Android Auto or the CarPlay nav system as mentioned earlier in the video. Uh, but that's very cool. So this is your home screen back here. One of the cool features that it has, it actually has what's known as uh, gestures. So when you're in this menu, you can go into settings and set up this gesture control. What And what this is, it allows you to swipe in front of the screen, left, right, and, and go to different functions without actually touching the buttons, which is kind of cool. Um, sorry, we'll just go back there. We, we just close that by accident. Uh, we were swiping in front of it. Anyway, so what we'll do, we'll show you that. So you can actually scroll left, and it will go to Apple CarPlay, but we don't have the CarPlay plugged in. Uh, scroll up, and it should go home. Now, We'll show you the Apple CarPlay. So we're just using an iPhone here. You can actually just uh, plug this in. You'll see it come straight up on the screen. And that will allow you to use all the apps. And it's very, very fast because it is uh, Apple-based and they have to get approval uh, from Apple to do those sort of things. Um, so this is a navigation, for example. And it is much the same for the Android Auto. One of the cool things was when you're in the home screen and once you have the Apple CarPlay in, you can touch the phone one and it will take you to the native Apple one, which is cool rather than the generic Kenwood phone system. Um, so that was kind of a cool thing. So there you go, saw a message come through. Um, in terms of this, the other cool thing is it does have a CD, so you have an eject and you can change the angle of the screen. So as you can see here, um, and the CD goes in behind. So very responsive unit. Um, very very happy it's got multiple illumination you can set all different types of uh, colors uh, as per whatever suits your car so you can set up orange to suit the orange lights in this car for example um, and all your standard stuff like Bluetooth USB iPod so that is just all standard on almost every unit these days but mate this this unit is one of the best I've played with and especially for the price um, and being Android Auto and CarPlay, you're constantly going to get updates and you don't need to be paying for the map updates um, and it's not going to chew your data. The only time it will chew data is if you are streaming music and you don't have a plan that allows you to do that uh, free of charge from your carrier. Um, but there you go. Great unit um, and I highly recommend it for any Toyota and Subaru. Alright guys, so that is the DDX916 WOS, a uh, very cool unit, I mean it's around $1,000 in Australia, I mean I don't know if they have the same model overseas, but 
definitely a cool unit for the price, like navigation, all the app features. The app features will really help you moving forward. It future proofs you so you don't have to keep getting a new unit every year when they release a new model. Because as Apple CarPlay and Android Auto get the updates, you get all those updates. So I think definitely worth the investment if you're looking for an aftermarket deck. Um, like I said, personally fitted, to, fitted it to my car. Um, we have a tutorial on how to fit this to a Toyota 86 and Subaru BRZ. Another video on our YouTube channel, Carbon Car Systems. Check it out on our Facebook and we'll show you how to install this thing as well. So that's kind of cool.